Today, I'm going to tell you a story of uh, repair and regeneration of our body. So, if you are like me as a naughty child, you must have actually having experience such as grabbing a tail of a lizard. And you can actually imagine, you probably actually remember, that the lizard will shake off, quickly ran away, left a piece of tail in your hand. However, this lizard will have totally regenerated his own tail functionally, fully, in two weeks. In fact, if you cut out the lizard's eye, it will grow a new eye in two weeks and seeing eye. If you cut out half of his heart, it will grow a new heart, which is still going to be. If you cut out his half of the brain, it will grow a new brain and function to tell its whole body to move. So, why can the mammals and uh, humans <laughs> cannot do it? So, since we just uh, finished a very contentious presidential election, I will submit it to you that Newt is a better president, <laughs> better than Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump in the nation of uh, regenerative medicine. So, you would be very wonderful or nice if human beings can regenerate a damaged tissue. For example, a soldier lost a limb in a war. I'm going to tell you a story that for the first time, we will make this a reality. Showing here is just a schematic diagram of eye. I'm an eye doctor. I want to cure blindness. So one of the largest or most common blindness is called cataract. Cataract is basically a cloudy of the lens. Lens is actually in front part of the eye, which is used to focus in light, such like uh, in the retina. You can think about eye as a camera. So the lens is actually a lens of the camera focusing light in the film, which is the uh, eye equivalent of, um, of camera. Obviously, cloudy lens or cataract will, will block vision, causing blindness. So, one of the ways to think about this is actually, can we regenerate our own lens using patient's own stem cell after cataract surgery? So traditionally, well, if you're now going to an ophthalmologist's office having a cataract surgery, what you have to end up with is actually a very big incision in the front part of the eye called ACCC. And this is a six meter incision will allow the ophthalmologist to have access to the cataract and the taking out the cataract. However, I will tell you just in a minute, by doing this, the procedure destroyed about 80% of the stem cell in the eye will not allow the lens to regenerate. In fact, the picture on the right side, on the right side of your view, are uh, some of the children which undergo cataract surgery However, they have robust residual stem cell that regenerate partially the lens. However, those lenses are not functional because they have scar tissue in the middle. So our hypothesis is actually, can we somehow harness the power of our own body, turn them on, and regenerate the tissues or organs that have been damaged? We want to try this in lens after cataract surgery so you don't have to having a piece of plastic put into your eye after the cataract surgery. In order to prove this, we first have to know whether the stem cell can regenerate a lens. We turn into this model organism called mouse, where we label this lens stem cell with a green fluorescent protein, an algae protein, which was discovered by late Roger Chan, Nobel laureates in this campus. We, as you can see from here, the green, the entire green lens was coming from one single lens stem cell, and it can regenerate a very beautiful green lens. Having demonstrated that, we also show that all those dots are single lens stem cell in the anterior part or front part of the lens. And you can see that, however, the cataract surgery, current cataract surgery, will destroy 80% of them. We was able to isolate the lens stem cell and show it in the culture dish here. And uh, you can see from the lower panel, 
by differentiating them in the dish, petri dish in the laboratory, we can generate mini lenses which can magnify letters. So, and then, in order to figure out a way to preserve those stem cells and generate a functional lens in patients' own eye, we divide, designed a new surgical procedure where we actually made a very small incision in the patient's lens, and which allow maximum preservation of the stem cell, and then give them this natural environment so they can grow their own lens. We did this by testing first in rabbit models of lens regeneration. Showing here is uh, the pictures. You can see on the top that within six to seven weeks, we were able to generate a functional new lens from the rabbits who undergo cataract surgery. This is a regenerative lens. This is a normal lens as a comparison. You can see they are very similar. Now, having done this, we went on to the primary model. In the monkey, we did a similar thing. You can see here that the monkey also can regenerate the new lens. And this lens, however, is going to be a little slower. It's about uh, uh, five to seven months. However, regenerative lens are nearly identical to the natural lens. And you can see a clear view of the retina in the back. Having studied the animal models, we went on to test this hypothesis in a clinical trial in infants with congenital cataracts. Those are infants that are born with a cataract, and those are actually very severe cataracts that block the vision of the infant. We have to remove those cataracts right away, otherwise the image of the external environment cannot be transmitted to the retina and to the brain. And it's like a computer have all the hardware, does not have the software, obviously it's not functional. And this will make the infants permanently blind so this is very important and essential to take out the cataracts right away after the infant's born. By designing a cataract surgery, which has very small incision, take out the cataracts, and then facilitate, allow the lens to regenerate in the patient's or infant's eye, we're able to show that it's actually much, they have much reduced complication rate. In fact, if you, traditionally, if an infant now going to the surgery, the entire lens had to be removed. It's a very involved procedure with lots of complications, including increased intracular pressure with lifelong uh, poor visual outcomes and blindness. What we show in this clinical trial, which we done 24, uh, 24 eyes with the infants as compared to 50 eyes with the traditional surgery, we have remarkably good visual outcome with 19-fold decreased complication rate. Showing here is an example of this, and this is again, before a surgery, the eye has cataract, and after surgery, it's entirely clear. This is just a small incision that a little scar left outside the visual axis. The patient can see very well, and being functional very, very nicely in life. So what I show you today is a remarkable transformation of how we think about regeneration and repair of our own tissue. Traditionally, People think about stem cell and regenerative medicine. People think about growing stem cell in a petri dish in a laboratory, and then take those cells, put it back into the patient's body, and hope that patients will be able to regenerate or gain some function. However, transplantation or stem cell research like this has a lot of risks, such as rejection, infection, and also some tumor formation. By turning on patients' own stem cell or harnessing our own stem cell power, we should be able to achieve the similar goal without those complications. Just imagine if we can do this, not just for our lens, but for our eyes, for our heart after heart attack, for our brains after neurodegeneration, such as Parkinson's, Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease, that the life and also the world will be so much better from now on. So this is actually a, a patient that is actually uh, in China, who have undergone this surgery, now have regained the vision. Uh, you can see such a bright future for this little kid. I want to thank you and also thank the chancellor for this uh, wonderful opportunity to tell you the research in my laboratory. And then, then I also want to thank uh, the postdoctoral fellows, so Jie Zhu, who's in the audience, who led the study in my laboratory, and uh, many of my patients and uh, supporters and donors, Dick Herzberg, Kyle Herzberg, and uh, Michael Martin and uh, uh, Richard Anisers, who actually uh, supported my research. And I also want to thank you for your attention. Okay, so the question is, that did, I, did we inject 
the cells into the baby cell or its own patient's, uh, baby's own stem cell. This is actually the most important part. It's baby's own stem cell. We turned on the baby's own dormant stem cells so it can repair itself. So this is actually a new concept. We essentially, if, you have, if somebody has some damage, we can just figure out a way to turn on their own tissue to regenerate. Usually the cataract happens in older population. How does the uh, young ch ch child uh, develop cataracts? The, in, the, in the young children who has cataracts, usually there's a uh, mutation in one of the genes at uh, causing the uh, encoding lens proteins that is causing the cataracts. I, want, I also want to have an extension of your uh, question. So we show this in the infants, but infants have robust stem cells. However, we also show that this type of regeneration can also be possible in adults such as us. How e even that the stem cell population decreases with age, we show in this Nature paper just published this year that by surgery or there's a way to turn on those dormant stem cells so you can regenerate the entire functional lens. One of the benefits of actually having your own lens grow back again is that you're going to regain accommodation. It means you don't have to have reading glasses. You will, it, essentially, I'm, I'm giving you a pair of eyes or lens which is 20 years old. Very great question. So the question is, if the cause of cataract is a mutation in a gene, even you have let it grow, regrow back again, you cannot guarantee you. Perhaps the cataract will reoccur again. It's true that most likely this is actually going to be a scenario. However, there were different ways that we can actually do this. We actually published another paper uh, last year to show that we can actually create a cataract drop. Traditionally, cataract has to be done with surgery. We now actually have invented a drop which can give to the patient to dissolve cataracts in the eye. So, but this is actually going to be doing most likely for the early cataracts. So for, to answer your questions, even there's actually a chance the cataract can reoccur. So we can actually have a combination of growing the lens and also prevent the cataract from forming again using the, uh, this, the eye drops. So the question is that if a person has un undergone cataract surgery, can the stem cell be used for glaucoma? Um, so in the glaucoma, in the cataract operation, what can be done is actually when you do this operation, you can actually put in something else if you have a glaucoma for actually rescuing the renal ganglion cell, which is the root of the glaucoma. So it's a, it's a different problem, but by taking out cataracts, you can actually do something simultaneously to treat the glaucoma using stem cell. So how do you turn on the patient's own stem cell? So this is actually a $1 billion question because uh, we, have, we, we show we can turn it on uh, by just trick the dormant lens stem cell and give a proper environment and also probably putting some actually nice biomaterials and just something to boost them up. And uh, I think for brains, and you have to somehow supply some trophic factors to tell them to proliferate. For the heart, I think there's just a recent paper that's following our lens regeneration paper that uh, by giving proper environment, is a, the, the key is actually giving the stem, dormant stem cell proper environment so you wake them up and then give them some, also some material or some nutrition so they can grow. So essentially you want the, all the stem cells to recapitulate, relive what we have done, which is a fetal development. So when you're a fetus, you grow everything. You can grow everything. So you turn on that process again. And so that's why I say, you know, I can give you a pair of eyes, which is actually 20 or actually only 20 years old. 